to see what the counteroffensive looks like. You, Russian soldiers had been pushed out of Liman, a strategic city that has railway links that were supplying Russian forces all across the Eastern Front. I got to see dead Russian soldiers, uh, destroyed Russian armor, uh, uniforms thrown as true, uh, uh, vehicles tore up. Um, there were signs of a real battle in that city. It, almost the entire city is in complete shambles. It, it's hard to understand how it's livable at this point. Uh, the people who were there today, the citizens, the residents there, were they came out to receive humanitarian aid. There were Ukrainian volunteers providing uh, food and water and bread. Um, many of them weren't really interested in talking about politics. You could tell just by looking at them that they had seen some very difficult days. They, they said that there was no electricity, there was no running water, getting food was hard to come by, and that now, uh, you know, some of them were clearly happy that Ukraine had returned, but most of them just seemed to be focused on getting food and water, the bare necessities to live. It, it is a very difficult situation in Liman, even as Ukraine has now liberated it. I spoke to some of the officials there who say that Russian forces did not make any effort to try to repair the utilities once they were destroyed or uh, reinstall uh, water lines. I also got to see uh, just how fast this uh, counteroffensive is moving. The the shelling was quite distant. If would if we heard it, uh, clearly the Ukrainian armed forces are pushing further now into the Luhansk region.